Hi, this is Oda from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Imagine that you are an astronaut, and you and your family are living on board the International Space Station, orbiting above Earth around 250 miles, going around once every hour and a half. And the International Space Station, though it's really big, about the size of two football fields, only has a little bit of room for the astronauts to move around inside. Think of it like school buses parked end to end. That's where the laboratories and the astronaut quarters are. And you can imagine that might get a little cramped with a lot of people inside. So you're there with your family and you still need to do everything you normally do during the day. What do you normally do during the day? Well, I bet you probably go to school. Now, at school, you're learning. You're on the International Space Station, so you can't go to school, but you could still learn. How can you do that? Well, maybe your teacher has assignments for you to complete. Maybe you have a book to read, or maybe you could surf on the internet and find something brand new to learn about. The important thing is continue learning. Maybe you even learn how to cook. Do you know how to cook? It's a fun thing to learn and you can use it for the rest of your life. Another thing you want to do is exercise. The astronauts keep their bodies healthy by exercising every day. Astronauts in the space station often use a treadmill. Now a treadmill is great, you can run in place, but in space everything will float. So you would float off the treadmill. The important thing to remember is to put on bungee cords if you're in space. Put them onto your shoulders so it can hold you down to the treadmill so you can run and get strong. What kind of exercise can you do? Besides the treadmill, could you do jumping jacks? Could you do push-ups? What can you do? Another thing astronauts like to do is look out the window at beautiful Earth. Earth is beautiful whether you are in space or whether you are just looking out the window of your home. Look out the window of your home and see what's out there. What season is it? Is, are things changing from day to day? Is there some beautiful architecture? Look for plants. Are there any plants growing? Do they change from day to day? Think about documenting that with a camera. Take pictures just like the astronauts do from space. Another thing astronauts want to do is talk to their friends and talk to their families. Well, now you're going to have your family on board with you, but what about all your friends from school? What about aunts and uncles and grandma? What about all those folks you like to normally talk to? Well, you can talk to them still, maybe by video. Maybe you can send them an email. Maybe you could even write them a letter. Now, from the International Space Station, you can't write them a letter or mail it because there's no mail service up there. While you're on the space station, do make sure you take care of your body. Wash your hands, wash your hair, brush your teeth, take a shower, whatever you normally do to take care of your body. You have to do that on the International Space Station. It can be tricky, but you gotta keep up with cleanliness. Another thing is we get supply ships at the space station. Now this is a challenge for you because I want you to think about what would you have coming on a supply ship? If you could have one right now coming to you, what would you want? Would you want some more food? Would you want some games? Would you want some more science experiments? On the space station, we get all those things. We get tools, we get all kinds of stuff. So make a list. What would you have in your supply ship? And make sure you ask your family members too because this, this supply ship is for them too. And above all, make sure you're having fun. Take some time to relax, play some games with your family, and enjoy each other's time. For more ideas, take a look at our website and have a good time with your family on the space station.